Hi everyone! Today we are here with Astro Moonbeam and Sana's new song, Madness. I guess they're mad about something, so we'll get to see about that one. Let's go! So Moonbeam is the guy who did the dance with his sister, right? Oh. Ah, this is EDM too. Ah, trap EDM. their madness. <laughs> My hair. Wait, so who's the flower for? Oh, <gasps> the girl that makes her makes him crazy. Guys, so this was Astro Astro Bumbin's Hana's madness. It was so scary. <laughs> There were really cool effects that was happening. Oh, my honest opinion, guys. <laughs> really cool effects that was happening between the music. And what I really liked was the fact that, like, they've had dances involved with transitions. Does that make sense? Some of the dance moves led to transition to the next scene. Um, and it was pretty funny. One of the chat was saying... White clothes and black ink don't go well, so yeah, not a not a good mix. But I think they brought a lot of like, it really felt like they were mad <laughs> in terms of crazy mad, right? Um, and their facial like expression here, holy cow, they were so scary. And I, I mean, that's the point, right? You're supposed to be scared. If you think this is attractive and you want to date these, I mean, like they are probably in real life nice, um, young gentlemen. But if you want to like. They, this character, them, is not a good thing, thing to do, right? Because they look like crazy uh, of their expression. 
So, <laughs> um, yeah, I I actually only know of Taunu from Astro. So it was like my first time seeing them dance and everything. Um, but I'm shocked. They're really good dancers and really good singers. So I wish they did more songs like this. Um, but we'll we'll go through the music videos uh, to pinpoint out some of my favorite sections and uh, we'll talk more about it. So it started off maybe in the beginning with this... I have no clue what this was. I guess like the magic trick box thing that they were going to show. Um, and it looks like they were doing some scientific <laughs> experiments along the way. Um, I did like their dance moves. I love it when K-pop music videos show a little bit of dance moves in between the songs because I think it gives a nice break for me to think about what the music is about before we go on to like the next scene. But if it's like story all, all the way, then my kind of brain just dies out. So I did like their dance scene um, in between the songs. And I guess this blue flower had a lot of meaning. I'm not sure what it means. Maybe it has something to do with their fandoms. But um, I think this was very um, symbolic throughout the music video. Because in the end, we had uh, one of the members holding the blue flower. And he looked kind of happy there. So I was like, oh, wait, maybe it was for his like girlfriend or something that she's supposed to be in love. So uh, that was pretty cool. My other favorite dance move here. He, like you shoot and you're all supposed to faint guys. So if I'm like, then you guys are going to be like, ah, I like, I like those call and response dance moves. Um, and some part that was really crazy was this ice breaking part was pretty, <laughs> pretty. But it makes sense, right? Because he's mad. It's his madness and he's showing anger. But I was like, holy cow, that is some like strong meaning of the music video. So, and obviously this is pretty cool too. Ah, do you see that? Like he has like, <sighs> what is it? Like, <sighs> and then like what you keep breath and then he just wipes it and this part was kind of funny it like okay honestly like my chat just ruined this part for me but i was like oh yeah it was like i was thinking like oh it looks like spider web <laughs> until one chat said <laughs> what is he doing wearing white in this paint <laughs> Uh, but really cool dance moves. Honestly, the thing that stood out mostly during the music video, personally for me, especially because I am a dancer, was the um, dance moves. I really liked them. Um, they had a lot of call and response dance moves. They had strong and soft um, moves uh, kind of to sh kind of show the madness because you're not always mad, right? If you like if you look at movies, they are not 24-7 hey right if you just look at joker they're like sometimes they're chill and then they kind of go ah so i think that's kind of what they wanted to do with the dance moves which was really cool um and in terms of the song this is edm trap uh song i think that's what one chat said i like it when k-pop um street uh idols do edm songs because it's not super heavy edm where all you do is like without any lyrics at least this one there's like dance moves that can be involved and there's lots of um fun and exciting parts that you could be listening to or looking to at so that's what i liked about this type of edm song so um i really liked it uh in conclusion i had honestly no expectations for astro because i didn't know much about the other two members um especially because i like watching dramas and Chanu really stood out so then I was like, oh, like, it must be a member just from them. Uh, but I never thought that they were really good dancers and singers, uh, especially facial expression. I cannot stop emphasizing that. It was really, really, really scary, which is a good thing, hopefully. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to hear any other songs and stories about them. I think it'll be really cool to hear the next songs. Like, and I hope they continue on with this, like, kind of crazy concept i i never would have expected any like attractive k-pop idols to do 
this type of song where they're kind of crazy and they kind of go full on with like acting of madness. Get it? Ha ha ha. So that was Astro Moonbeam and Sana's Madness. I hope you guys enjoyed my YouTube video and if you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. But other than that, that is all.